I love to work out. It's part of my lifestyle. Before I moved from Africa to this part of the world, I've been doing it. Um, I would say I've been trying to lose weight for the longest of time. Like I've been adding weight, I've been losing, I've been adding, I've been losing. <laughs> so I have been battling with tummy fat for a while now. I'm not a fat person, but I'm just like, I'm like, I'm like a size eight with a size 10 tummy, then something like that. So I'm battling with tummy fat for a while. Whenever I get my result, I will just stop. And then before you know it, I am back to square one. I said to myself, Kristen, you have to be consistent this thing can't be you can't be losing weight gaining weight losing weight gaining weight it's not consistent like what's going to happen in the future when you have kids and shit you know so i wanted to tell you guys about this amazing group i am with this amazing group of women so the group is called sweat is pretty and as the name says what we do there is basically try to be accountable for our weight loss and our weight loss welcome back to my channel simply family how you are doing today i hope you all are having an amazing day hope you have an amazing week as well thank you all so much for your likes for your comments for your subscriptions thank you to my old and my new subscribers i appreciate you all god bless you all so for today's video you all are seeing by the title the reason why i decided to keep on on my fitness journey and i'm going to be introducing to you sweat is pretty thing Alright guys, so without wasting much of your time, we're going to jump into this video, but before we do that, if today is your first time coming across my channel, please do not forget to subscribe and do turn on the notification post so as to get notified whenever I upload. So without wasting much of your time, again I said it, let's jump right into new on my fitness journey story, which I don't want to take too much of it. Anyway, this thing, I created it, but I'm not going to take the whole credit because it came about as a result of um, the comment that uh, Niela made in one of her videos. She said uh, if only she can be able to find a uh, workout uh, body that she will be so uh, consistent and she will be able to carry on on her fitness journey. So when I saw when she made that comment in her video, I left her comment in the comment section and I told her that I don't mind doing it with her. So I told her whenever she's ready, I am ready. Like I'm so ready. Like I'm so ready. So that's what I told her. And after a while, some of other ladies that we belong in another group decided that they want to join too. So I created a team, like the group. I call it. We call it a sweat is pretty. And I ask every one of them. They are okay by the name. And everybody were like, yeah, cool. And that's what we've been using for the past, I think, two two months or three months. If I'm not going to three months, if I'm not wrong. So we started this group or. So before I move on on this on this uh, fitness story that I'm about to hit you all guys up with, I want to mention that in this group we have uh, I will mention the names of the people that we have in this group. Okay, we have HG Signatures, we have uh, Niela, we have uh, Gusty, we have E.B. Shaw, we have Mizipro, and we have uh, of course myself all right but in this particular video you're not going to be seeing miss uh miss uh, pro and hd signature but in the nearest future you'll be seeing them people and we all live in different part of the world and we're still making this happen so we you have no excuse okay like when you want to work out even if your workout body doesn't live around your area you can still make it work in this time of uh internet and you know like uh social media there are many ways we can communicate and that's how we've been doing it we are all we all live in different part of the world like niela lives in canada hg signatures live in nigeria miss cipro live in nigeria um, um christine lives in dubai ghosty lives in nigeria and i live in the states so you can see that we are all like scattered here and there different part of the world but we are still making this to happen so this is part of one of my encouragement you don't have to wait for a body that live next to you before you get this done now i'm gonna go into my own story like people often ask me every time they when, whenever they see me they go like oh why are you working out you already look fit you already look too you already look you know good that's what people always say but i always tell them it makes me feel good it make me it gives me energy that's the kind of person i am if i don't work out my energy level goes down and um, if i work out it kind of kick up and i'll be able to move on with my day bam 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 that's the kind of person i am right from time way back from nigeria i've been doing this and i remember my uncle used to ask me then am i going for a beauty pageant they encouraged me they didn't want me to stop i kept on doing it i jog every now and then back in nigeria but within a compound not outside because i'll be so scared that something is going to happen so i jump between my within our compound i do my fitness exercise in my compound and all that good stuff so that's what i've been doing way back from africa and people have been asking me and always respond back to them that that's uh 
how it makes me feel and think about it if i don't work out how will i be able to go back to this uh body that i have right now okay i give god all the glory i'm not here to you know to throw shade or i'm not here to kind of discourage anybody i want to encourage you that you can do it too i've got three kids okay imagine i stopped working out when i had my first child here is a picture of me six months after i had my first child six months after i had my first child way back in africa nigeria you know i wouldn't be able to go back like this that's for sure imagine i stop at my second child i wouldn't be able to go back to who i am right now if i had stopped at my third which is my last one i wouldn't have been able to go back to who i am right now so those are the things that you should think about that because you're already there where you are doesn't mean you should stop you kind of have to keep on going you know you keep on you have to keep fit like i work out to keep fit to increase my energy level not to kind of have one particular shape from any from somebody or to be like somebody you understand like i am not in competition all right with anybody i'm just doing it at my own pace if i tell you that sometimes i only work out 30 minutes and i'm good to go but i try as much as i can to eat my five days in a week and 30 minutes sometimes 45 depending on how many how long time i have before i go to work because i do it before i leave for work so if i know my schedule is going to be like very very early in the morning i wake up as early as i can like very early i'm talking about 3 a.m sometimes i'll wake up and do my you know back 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 if it's 30 minutes 45 minutes i'm able to do I'm good to go for the day. Like today that I'm talking to you guys, I just came back from work and I get this together and I'm like, I'm about to shoot this video so that I can roll out tomorrow. All right. So I'm just encouraging you that don't stop. Even when you get to that position that you want, if you are on the journey of losing weight, because we all work out for different reasons. I am working out to tone my body. All right. Because I don't really have anything to lose anymore, but I'm just working out to tone my body. But if you're on the journey to lose weight, I will encourage you that even when you get to that, um, the weight that you're aspiring to get to, don't stop. Keep working out so that you can, you know, keep toning, all right? You might reduce the intensity of what you have been doing before you get to that stage so that you don't lose too much. And people are going to be asking you, what's wrong with you? Are you sick? You know, some kind of silly question will start coming here and there but you start you might just reduce the intensity to something not too much of bam 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 you know something that you can just use to tone your body so the plan of this group is to you know to keep up with our with ourselves like every day we do we do our workout we try to reach uh, reach back and let uh, let the group know that okay this is what i did today even if you if we don't show the picture of uh, the particular workout we did we send in our picture sometimes we're sweaty you know part is that's part of our name you know sweat is pretty all right so sometimes we're sweating in the picture we don't even care how we look in the picture we just send it to let you you know it's like a confirmation that i got my sweat on today so our plan is to keep doing this every last saturday of the month by the grace of god we will come back to the camera and show you how far we have gone like for me um i don't really i'm not really um um i would like i'm not really measuring weights like i'm not really staying on the scale or using any tape to because i'm already at where i want to be so i'm just toning up so i'm not going to be able to tell you that i lost so so amount of weight but i'm going to encourage you to please check out the rest of my team member okay please check them out out their video after you've seen this video in order for you to be able to see they are really on a fitness journey like they want to lose weight and some of them have been seeing results since we started so probably you'll be able to get more inspired from their video because one of our one, some of them have been weighing themselves and they know where, where they started where they are and where they're going so i'm encouraging you to please watch their video so that you get more motivation from them all right thank you all so much so guys this concluded the end of this video please don't forget to subscribe and do turn on notification post to us to get notified whenever i upload and please let me comment in the comment section let me know if you want to see how i was able to lose the baby tummy you know the baby bump after three kids all right and again please look out for the rest of my team member all right sweat is pretty Look out for our our workout routine that will be rolling out rolling out every last Saturday of the month. Something for the road for you guys. Sweat is pretty. Sweat is pretty. Sweat is pretty. Sweat is pretty, babies. Sweat is pretty and bomb that body fat, baby.